What's up, everyone? This is Dave Wisniewski with SaferArizona.com, and I'm just uh, making this little video because I kind of want to touch on the subject of our opposition here in the cannabis legalization reform, which is Sheila Polk and Matt Force. And for those of you who don't know who uh, Sheila Polk is, she is the Yapavai County uh, District Prosecuting Attorney, or Prosecuting District Attorney, in one of those orders. And uh, she is the head of the Matt Force organization. And what they do is they lobby against legalization for 2016 with their campaign uh, slogan, Marijuana Harmless, Think Again. And they travel from city council to city council, talking to the city council members, trying to pass these non-binding resolutions uh, against legalization for 2016. And so they have a couple of points they like to, you know, uh, propagandize the city council members with um, to try to push their uh, agenda of anti-legalization. And to, uh, one of them is this right here. They say... If marijuana is legalized in Arizona, 32,000 high school students who've never tried pot say they'd be more likely to try it for the first time, jeopardizing their dreams, motivation, and success in school and life. Because school's not life or something like that. So you're saying that we need to keep this flower bud that has such great medicinal benefits illegal because 32,000 high school students might be less motivated? What are you talking about, lady? So you're saying from the couch in my basement, smoking a, smoking a bowl after work, uh, I somehow make 32,000 high school students want to try to smoke pot and let, they're going to be less motivated. And so now I need to be a criminal because they're going to be less motivated. Oh, well, there's a risk because they might be less motivated. That's what you're saying. That sounds, that sounds dumb, to be honest with you. And... Um, Another thing is, even if that were the case, let's just say that they're, we're going to make high school kids less motivated. Uh, that's not a criminal justice issue. That's a parental issue. So if you don't want your kid to smoke pot, that's something that the parent needs to uh, you know, take control over in their own household. You don't need the police or the judge to do it for you. Um, because that just makes things a lot worse and it hurts the, uh, the person a lot more than the actual drug itself. For example... I was one of those kids that smoked pot in high school and I got arrested for it. And I was looking at graduating high school as a triple felon. Um, but I didn't. I went through all the crazy diversion programs and I got my charges dismissed with prejudice. But it still ended up following me uh, through the army and the government still saw it. So it still kind of had issues with it. But a lot of people don't get off so easy. So what we're doing here is we're turning people into criminals for something that's making people less motivated that doesn't fit the crime. What we, what we need to do is not have that criminal penalty and then the parents are going to go ahead and uh, be the ones to dictate what happens in their own household when it comes to that kind of thing. And I, I asked Sheila Polk uh, in, a, in a little letter, in a little pamphlet one time at one of her little seminars, uh, but she never answered this question. Uh, Sheila Polk, if you walked in on your kid smoking uh, a pipe of marijuana. Would you do the right thing and call the police and turn your baby into a multiple felon? One for the pipe and the other for the weed probably that the, that the kid had. And I don't think that Sheila Polk would do that. I think that she would ha try to handle it in her own household. But that would contradict everything that she's fighting for. Because she's sitting here saying, we need to keep it illegal. We need to keep these people going to jail. Um, <clears throat> no. Punishment doesn't fit the crime for one, and two, your science is all is all whack. Because they're they're also saying the reason that we can't have these high school kids smoking pot is because we have this other study that says that if you start smoking pot at the age of 13 years old and you keep smoking pot into your 30s, uh, you could lose up to eight IQ points by the time you're 38. And um that was really bad science, first of all. If you go ahead and look at the study, it has been debunked by a, a large portion of the scientific community. Um, so they really don't have any strong ammunition, but they, they have, they think they do. And so, um, 
I don't know actually how they how they're doing this because to be honest, it, it it sounds really really bizarre anyways. But so you're telling me after decades and decades, I'm gonna lose up to eight IQ points from smoking pot. So we should all go to jail. That still doesn't make any sense because for one, we don't actually criminalize anything just because it's dangerous to do because. It's not illegal for any 10-year-old kid to go buy something poisonous like Windex or something and then consume it. So that wouldn't be a criminal offense, but that kid would probably go get mental help or something like that for trying to drink something poisonous. And so that's, that's a point I'm trying to make is we don't criminalize things just because they think they're harmful. So that doesn't make sense to begin with. Another point is... Alcohol is a lot more harmful to the brain. You lose a lot more IQ points. That's marijuana is safer than alcohol. We're going to legalize that, and this is sitting here. Okay, that's not that's not even really the point because that that's all that's all me trying to just think that her science may possibly be accurate. But to be honest, her science wasn't even accurate because uh, marijuana is actually patented by uh, the U.S. government under U.S. Patent six six three zero five zero seven as a neuroprotectant. Neuroprotectant meaning it protects the brain. So you're sitting here saying something that protects the brain is causing a drop in my IQ points. I'm not buying it. And even if it did, I want to it shouldn't be a crime anyways if I want to if I want to go ahead and do this and it, it dropped a couple IQ points after decades. Like what is eight, eight IQ points? Is I is I like forgetting my keys? You know, oh, where are my keys? Shit, I shouldn't smoke pot for the last 30 years, you know? Like, what? What is that? But anyways, um... Sheila Polk and Matt Forrest is a pretty much a fraud in my eyes because they're going around preaching bad science and they're making a lot of money doing it. And their, uh... The uh, results of what they're doing is damaging on society and they're going under the, under the, under the name of being helpful. Um, we're just like, what are you guys doing? You know, they're they're screwing stuff up. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Matt Force is out there, and I protest the Matt Force and your evil deeds. End video.